Hi, Internet. What's we're, up, we're Internet? Live. What's, What's up? going on, Internet? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope so, too. And if not, buckle your seatbelts. You're about to be doing great. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah. No, he's right. How are you going to argue with that? Uh, if, if you're driving, we hope you already have your seatbelt buckled. If you're not, get in your car, buckle your seatbelts. Just listen, though. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I hope you're not watching this in your car. So, Whether you're seatbelted listen. or not. Just listen. <laughs> so, so. What happened last time? Last oh, time. I was going to say, before, before that, oh. you know, this episode of Evil Game is brought to you by... The wonderful folks from Hero Forge. Woo-hoo! They allow you to make really cool custom minis, and I'm trying to up. I forgot the logo, so I'm putting the logo on the stream right there. Yeah. There it is. So they let you do all sorts, make custom minis. Uh, you can make them in all sorts of different colors. Today is Treasure Tuesday, Ooh. so on today's Treasure Tuesday, they re- uh, released Naga and Serpent Folk. So because Yuanti is a D and D officially licensed thing, they can't say that. So you can get someone with like serpentine lower half of the body if you would like. Uh, also like snake-like features on the faces if you want to go more Naga, that would be like a humanoid female type face with a serpent body. Or a uh, serpent folk, you could have like a hood, like a cobra hood and, and things like that. Um, so that was released today. The Kickstarter ended and the stuff should start be, I think the color Kickstarter is rolling out to backers in May. Nice. Oh, uh, and check out our Instagram. Ted posted a picture of the Serpent Folk. I did, yeah. I made one, and then they were like, don't post about it because it's new originally. They're like, try not to show off too much exclusive content, and that was new, so now that it's out, I can post it. So nice, you guys can go nice. check that out. Very cool. Um, there is also, I forgot to set up a link for it. I'll do it on the break, but there's a giveaway going on right now for 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, um, which is a whole bunch of cool stuff from Jetpack 7. So that is, first place is limited edition copy of Legendary Dragons, a limited edition copy of Gods and Goddesses Redux, this DM screen here. Uh, Second place is regular versions of those two things in the DM screen, and third place is just the DM screen. And all three copies get a PDF copy, or all three winners rather get a PDF copy of Masters and Minions, the other Jetpack 7 book. Fantastic. So, and how do people sign up for that contest, Ted? Well, I just said I didn't have the link, Jake. Oh, but I'll no. find it right now. Ted will find it, and we will talk about what we did last time. So, um, yes, I'll post that link. Uh, it runs till the more or less the mid to end of March. So you have like probably 18 days left to enter. Almost three weeks. Just yeah. enough time. If the you're last time. trying to make a new character. Just oh, just enough time <laughs> for most people. Mm. Uh, so previously, speaking of new characters, mm. previously on Evil Game, uh, Patrick's character, uh, after a series of decisions, <laughs> um, ended up paralyzed and in jail, uh, paralyzed from the neck down and in jail. Um, and so he will no longer be playing Patrick as that is not a compelling character to continue a game with. Uh, The rest of the group murdered a bard and his group of friends and family after escaping from the uh, mad cube of a tiny wizard and fighting several weird ants. Um, (laughs) They made it... They made it all the way to the Dalabad uh, Oasis. Uh, There were uh, giant eagles, cannonballs, fights with Guards, um, sad delicious stories, cocktails. delicious yes. cocktails, and um, paralyzation. And where we left our remaining uh, intrepid villains was um, in the bar at the Dalabad Oasis, which is the Sandstone. And uh, the three of them were toning down for the night and just about to retire. Uh, I thought I just had. Uh, because I've seen proof that Padraig is wanted, dead or alive. Uh huh. So. Oh no! no if sorry. You didn't... Hang on. No, no. Oh this no! He's dead. Now. Oh no! Aww. So what I was gonna say Hi. is, if you didn't go through that whole epitaph of him being paralyzed and wasting away, mm-hmm. that we could have tried to get that reward. Ah. Uh, yes. yes. We could have tried to. Yeah. Turn him in for the money. Yep. Yeah. Would have been good. Oh, that, that feels empty, doesn't that, it? That was a good epitaph, though. Nah. So, 
Yeah. He's epitaphed out. Oh! Call him Howard. Epitaph. Yep. What's the fucking tap? What was his first name? I just anyway, for it. That's okay. Uh, the president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. was Howard? Howard, yeah. Oh, okay. That was, you were good. Oh, okay. I thought just <laughs> as I said it, I was like, no. It was just laughing at the joke. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with no laughing at the joke as long as I'm historically accurate. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't a laughy epitaphy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. That cool. got me right here. Thank you. Mm. I'll take that, that for me. I liked that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you give yourself Confidence. A yeah. I did. <laughs> you didn't need that. You're I know. I feel it. it. All right. Um, so you guys, it's the sun setting. Um, it, it, there's not many windows inside the bar as people hang out there during the day when it gets really hot. So having the sandstone roof and no windows keeps it a little bit cooler. Uh, but there are. There's like a, a large. Um, brazier in the center that's lit and the whole place is kind of like mellowing down um and uh there's prostitutes of all sorts around there's drinks being passed freely um and that's that's where you guys the three of you are sitting and um why don't the three of you make perception checks eight nineteen Ten. All right, cool. Um, so the two of you are starting to get a little bit, I just, maybe it's a little bit fuzzy from some smoke in the air. You're starting to feel the alcohol. I'm focusing uh, on the prostitutes. You're focused on the prostitutes, which yes. is easy to do um, because several of them are very appealing. And Ooh. some of them are just not your taste. Okay. Too skinny. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, but Darian, you will notice uh, sitting in the corner, almost stone-like, is a... Uh, like a, a f- almost familiar sight to you specifically mm-hmm. is a uh, a large robotic uh, humanoid type creature, mm-hmm. and he's just just kind of sitting there, like with his both of his hands on the table, just like kind of drumming his fingers, not really knowing what he's doing or <laughs> why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seeming a little bit lost in uh, this, this, this is different. Look at newborn this freedom, is maybe. You're not sure. It's a little late. Um, so, Morg, you were thinking about uh, procuring a prostitute. I was, yes. Okay. Um, there's, there's a bunch available. Uh, I will, when the waitress comes back with our next round, I'll mm-hmm. be like, uh, excuse me, I would like one prostitute, please. Okay. Any preferences? Uh, yeah. Would you like to elucidate on that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Pick one. Oh, um, uh, and I want to point out the burliest one. The one that looks like she might be able to take me in a fair fight. Ah. If there's one like that. <laughs> and if uh. not, then a different one. Okay. <laughs> you don't know. There's no, there's, there's nothing that brings you back to Calumport like that. Um, there is, there is a one who's, she's. Pretty pretty chunky, a little bit older than the rest of them. Okay. She looks like maybe she could take you in an unfair fight. Good enough. <laughs> Her. Um, and you're going to need to tie one of my arms behind my back, but we'll talk about that up in the room. All right, so she'll come over to you. And she, <laughs> she'll flash you a toothy grin. <laughs> uh, you'll notice that she's kind of got some, some yellowish teeth and... She looks like she's been at it for a while. A couple of her teeth are missing. So she'll uh, lean in and whisper something seductive in your ear, and you'll give her two gold, and you guys will pop up to your room, and that'll just fade to black right there. We, we, we're not going to go into more detail? Do you want to roll you, for anything? Yeah, or? yeah. Why don't you um, roll for detail? Roll a d20. <laughs> 14 detail. All right, cool. So you guys go up there. Um, Can I take back my roll for detail? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay we, can, we um, can skip over. That. Before we go upstairs, I'm gonna be like, uh, see so you guys in the morning, I guess. Before he goes upstairs, can I go look up there? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, I meet you guys down here for breakfast. Now, uh, we don't have to carry as much water, so. We don't know what's going to happen to Padrick, though, do we? Or do we? Um, we you guys saw Padrick break come. it in, but we don't know what happened after that. No, that was the last time you guys saw Padrick. But I feel like... I feel like we don't need to talk about it. No, I we just... put it together. <laughs> um, all right, oh, can you roll me a percentile? Surely. 
a thirty-five percent. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that couldn't possibly be what that role is. Uh, okay, no cool. one can cure disease. Oh uh, no, nobody really can anymore. Nope. Uh, is there anything else you'd like for me, Jake? Uh, no, I think that you're good to go. Thanks. Uh, you, you have a wonderful evening, and you wake up with an additional three uh, temporary hit points. Woo! You're feeling really good. Feeling fine. fine. Despite her burly and uh, somewhat mannish appearance, she knew what she was doing. She's that was Morgan's goal. A clear professional. Great. Uh, how about you guys? Anything else for the evening? Um, are there people like around us? Like if I were, like, were to talk to him and like about the robot over there, the robot would hear us. Um, well, he's sitting in the corner, so you, I don't know, you could potentially try to do it with some manner of stealth. Well, which, that's well, yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, like, if you were trying to like about it. Mm-hmm. All right, so then like message, <laughs> um, him like. See that robot in the corner? Now you see that robot in the corner. You yeah. thought it was just a statue. Looks like uh, those things on the train. Yeah, we probably not go anywhere near it. Fair. Because that they murdered an entire race of people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not they yet. thought it was a good yeah. idea to hire us. Which makes me think it's an even worse <laughs> idea to to go anywhere near it. <laughs> All very logical points. <laughs> I'm recently very intelligent. So. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> we were in the same... What was your intelligence originally? Uh, I think just 10. Yeah, so we were exactly the same scenario. Yep. Just on the opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so you guys hang out for a little while and then retire for the evening? Yeah. Uh, yes. Did you refresh? There's people on the thing. I was no, I was just looking at us. Did you I check like looking at us? I didn't check my butt. That is a weird place to keep your um, internet connection. All right, so all right, I don't know why that happened. I refreshed it and now we're back. Yeah, no channel is currently being hosted. That is so fucking weird. That is so fucking weird. So when we go to retire. For the evening, as is has been custom through the desert, and then in the room, I'm still gonna cast Leo Miss Tanya in the room. Okay, cool. To prevent anybody from coming in unexpectedly, but also to keep a climate control. Nice. Mm-hmm. You right. can also be in this this time rather than last time where you didn't know I was doing that. Yes. Yeah. So you guys grab a room. It'll cost you uh, two silver piece for the room. Okay. Between the two of you. Okay. Um, so I'll 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 pay the two silver. Oh, nice. Big, big spender. Right? Yep. Mm. Okay, so, <laughs> Pat, your new character is this warforged wizard, Edom. Um, he's, you see all of this go on. You see uh, a large half-orc with uh, lightning scars emanating from the center of his chest and a, and a fused glass piece <laughs> over some sort of metal sticking out of it go off with one of the prostitutes who seems pretty busy uh, in general. Uh, and then you see these two kind of disappear off the side. What do you do? You have anything and planned for the night? No. Just kind of sit and you don't need to eat and you don't no. need to sleep. No. Nope. But you do need to rest. So you're right. just going to sit? Yeah, I'll just rest. Okay. Cool. So you rest. Everybody rests. Everybody gets a long rest. You all wake up or reactivate the next morning. Mm-hmm. Um, you can roll me to uh, roll me a d20 twice there. Nice. Okay. Unless you have, well, do you have your trinkets? No, no, if, we have, if you've got the special 16 trinkets, then that's fair. Um, um, all right, so apparently you have a plague doctor mask. Ah, oh, then that's his nose. <laughs> that's real, the real plague real. doctor mask. Um, they are neat. Neato burrito. Um... Uh, and a pen that can change the color of the ink inside it. Ah, that could be very useful. With appropriate thought. I got it. Use the black to make a hole. So people think they can run through like a tunnel. Okay. In a mountain. Like, but it's just a drawing. Oh. They run right into it. Bam. Then they're unconscious. Yeah. And then you can capture them and eat them. I don't know. Maybe. I didn't think out the second uh-huh. step, just the drawing part. That's that's enough. That's all you really need. Yeah. 
All right, so you guys all wake up the next morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day uh, in the Oasis. You all get up nice and early. Apparently, adventurers get up around 6 o'clock in the morning. And the <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are villains, though. So you wake up, and it's like 8.30. Um, you come downstairs. There's, uh, It's kind of like a different... Um, a different tone in the morning now. Uh, you can see that there's like, instead of, they must have taken out the bra uh, brazier. Um, and there's like a, there's a large pot there and a guy's like mixing um, like almost like a Turkish style coffee uh, right in the center there. Uh, you can smell there's food going on in the kitchen and the, the double doors are wide open to let in some of the natural sun and some of the cool air kind of freshen the place up. Um, so you guys hang out, you have breakfast, um, and you'll see that robot is still just kind of sitting there. Um, and as you guys are sitting, uh, everybody can make a perception check. 16. 14. 9. 27. Okay. So, uh, Darian, you'll hear this before anybody else, but everybody else will over time. Um... But you, you'll hear like a like a kind of like a like a revving and like rumbling in the distance, like a and um, you'll hear it's like it's definitely some sort of weird mechanical mm -hmm. sound, like kind of its way in towards the oasis. Did you guys hear that? As she points it out, you do. You hear some sort of like yeah. it's like maybe like a quarter mile out. Wait a second. They didn't. Didn't Pedrig. In 10 towns. In 10 towns. Yeah. It's a long ride. And also across the water, I think. Is it... No, no, 10 towns is. It's all on the same continent. No, I. I guess. Either way. Okay. It'd be faster by sea. It could be. Two if by sea. You know what I mean? No. Fair. <laughs> um, so. It, probably not that, right? All the way from Ten Towns? Didn't that goblin die? When the town got overrun? By uh, the well, it was just the sewer. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. That whole scenario was weird. Here's this whole thing. You can do it. But then I'm going to give it to you. And then maybe Sal will want it. But I don't know if he'll want it. Right? But, I mean, if, if it's that, then we get it, right? I mean, it's... Ah, he gave it to Sal, though. But Sal's not here. But I mean, the, we're going to find Sal. We'll bring it to Sal. We can bring it to Sal. We can bring it to Sal. Maybe it's Sal on the motorcycle thing that I don't know what it's called. On that weird metal cart with shields on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's. You want to go check it out? I mean, Mike, I'm almost out of coffee. I mean, alternatively, it could not be anything related to that because nope. we have no concept of what an internal combustion engine sounds like or. That it can even move. I don't know any of the things you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a spermeral condition engine I thought, is. I thought it was gonna get easier. But uh, why? Because <laughs> Patrick's gone. <laughs> Uh, sure. You clearly hear some sort of mechanical device <laughs> approaching. Yeah, I could kernel some suspension engine. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess no. we can go check it out. I mean, why not? I'll stand up and I'll go outside and look. It sounds like it's getting closer. Maybe it could take us out of here. Ah, Did I fix it? Yeah. All right. So, Fresh <laughs> so as you guys are talking about this, you see the robot like kind of perk up, and he gets up. But why don't you uh, describe yourself now that you're standing and in open view of everybody in the? I'm a, a warforge. Yes. Yeah, skinny, lanky robot. Uh, got some desert robes on. Slit eyes. Wait, when you say skinny legged like robot, I'm thinking like you and my no. Sure. Robin Williams character in the movie Robots. Mm, more like oh. Sunny from High Robots. Oh, so like a person, but like a thin like person. Build the build wise. Yeah. Yeah, something for my robot was like person build. Yes. All right, I a humanoid. I got a photo. It's hard to maybe I can nah. describe it. So you'll see this difficult to describe <laughs> uh, humanoid like robot skinny, make but its like way not too outside. Yeah, you know he's a little tall but not short. Like a person, but yeah. like like a robot. But like a robot. 
No, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you guys. Yeah. You guys he's got a plane mask on, like he's we got, all do. He's got, he's got eye like, slits, yeah. like no, no, we no, all no, do. No, 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 no. He has it You're on the side of your face, so you look. You cool. see him? It's, he's got it sitting there in case there's a plague that he needs to defend his robot self from. That he's immune to. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's, he's doubly immune to it now, right, which yes. is even better. Um, so. As you, as you guys all make your way outside, um, you'll see that there are, A, some new arrivals in town. Uh, there seems to be some sort of caravan uh, with a group of camels uh, that has come from the south, uh, made its way uh, presumably out of Kalimport. And then you'll see coming from the north is like a big old uh, trail of dust. And you'll see uh, a um, goblin with like some you know, eye protection, riding some sort of big two-wheeled contraption in towards the town. You can hear that that's where the noise is coming from. And it's just like, it's just scooting its way across the town pretty fast. Looks like someone's overcompensating. (laughs) You want to pass it around? Get a good description? Is that, so wait, is that his face? (laughs) It's good so first. it's not like it's, it's not a good a start. Mat, and his it's face looks like that, so he doesn't have a mouth. Yeah, no. Then how does he talk? It just comes audibly from him. Sure. Okay. Just yeah, speakers. like little, yeah, like little speakers underneath the mask. So if you get wet, then can you not talk? I can talk. Oh, it's speakers. It. Ah, it closed. Oh well. Okay. So it. Hey, hey. The robot looks kind of like a desert marauder with one of those Super Mario annoying mask guys that come and shy kill guy. you. Oh. No, no. Well, yes. It looks yeah. kind of like a robot yeah, shy like guy. Like a shy guy, yeah. Okay. Uh, except a robot. Yeah. So even sketchier than a regular robot. Because <laughs> yes. it has no facial expression. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, well, Patrick had the man. He didn't yeah. have facial expressions yeah. either. That's true. But he at least had a... Face. face. Oh, and he had a son. Oh, his son doesn't son? have a dad. It's okay. He didn't before he either. Didn't have a dad either. Oh, that's a good point. He had a dad for like. Uh, dad and your dad sucked. Oh, what? Like a dad My dad sucked. So, so that's all fun. Yeah, I forgot um, his name. That's how much he sucked. Anyway, so the uh, the <laughs> goblin <laughs> comes rolling into town, and he like stops outside of the uh, the the sandstone, which is the the name of the bar there mm. and he like pops off and you see he's got his his two pistols on his hips and he like he's got a helmet and he takes his goggles and he pops them up on his helmet and uh he like stretching out Ooh, ah, ah. do we recognize this uh, you will you will recognize goblin? him as the goblin all the way from 10 towns oh, shit. um and this seems to be some sort of contraption of his own design uh and you'll see in like the the center, just above some handlebars, is the large metal thing, and and right now you can see like all of the cylinders are exposed, and it's still making like a rumbling sound, and you can see them like slowly like pop 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 popping back and forth. Cool. Um, and he'll walk up to the three of you, and he'll be like, "Hey, how's it going?" That's good. It's a it's a it's fast contraption here. here. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I uh, I heard. From a uh, an augurist, uh, to get the guy who paid me—I can't remember his name—to build this thing, yeah. well, uh, I'd meet him in this town. So I started heading down. Um, I, I met up with a neat wizard who was going from ten, sta- ten towns to Baldur's Gate. So mm. I paid him uh, five gold and a back massage, and uh, he, oh. let me, he let me teleport with him. That is, yep, good deal. Pretty good deal. Yeah, I guess he was going already. So, uh, I came down here. Uh, you seen Patrick? Uh, actually not no. in a couple of hours. Ah. Not recently. Um, there was, uh, how would you describe it to me? Like, a kerfuffle? Uh, I think he's dead. He's probably oh. dead. He's probably, probably dead. Probably dead. Uh, in a kerfuffle. He died. Yeah. How does he drink potions if he doesn't have a mouth? He just pours them on his face, <laughs> <laughs> like from an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a drinking problem. Oh, he's got like a little uh, tube in the back. You like pop it open and pour it in that way. He's got. Like hey, he just beer funnels it. <laughs> <laughs> the internet has the good questions. They're nice. very curious about this. Has the funnel come his out? skin just absorbs his robot skin. 
<laughs> just gets all in his in his creases and whatnot. Oh, and then magic horse. just absorbs in like magic does. I think it would get sticky. It doesn't magically. Dumb. Like oil. Yeah, I agree. It lubricates him. Yeah, dumb, yeah. dumb, 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 dumb. Lubricates like, him so nice. Just like, and it doesn't so, even get um, any extra we, Yeah, this. yeah, he's probably dead. Uh huh. Yeah. So um But he already paid you for this, right? Yeah. Well, no, he paid me half up front. Like him. And then he said, uh, Sal might pay the other half. But but Sal wasn't in Baldur's Gate. Have you seen Sal? We um, were no while. No. Okay. Not you, for like, we were here and then he left. And he went out on a boat. Oh. Before shit. all the shit went down. Caliport. Not Cal- here. Yeah, Caliport. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you got a boat out of Caliport. I think it was to Baldur's Gate. I, I think. I mean, it's still a shit Some of them? So, yeah, we don't know where he is. Damn it. Why? What's up? Well, I finished this. I was hoping to get paid for it. How many people do I think could fit on this thing? One person, comfortably. <sighs> Two people, uncomfortably. Oh well, um... If you... How much did he owe you? How much did he owe you? He owed me 200 gold on it. I was uh, hoping. So oh. what's your plan? So if he was here... Yeah. And he paid you for this thing. What mm-hmm. was your plan then? Where were you going? Oh. He gives you that. He gives you the money, and then you leave the thing. What do you do then? No, I was probably just gonna just head on down to Calimport, get a boat at some point. Oh, don't do not that. Oh option. no, it's not. It's being option. invaded by a water deep. Oh yeah, fuck. the king, King Marcon. Yeah, there was quite the kerfuffle. But that's why we're here, right? King Marcon. Yeah, yeah. Wind, wind Reaver, yeah. That's it. I, I forgot his last name. I was like, Marco Polo. Marco Polo, yeah. 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 Marco and Wind Reaver, got it. All yeah, right. No, we got out of there. No one was leaving because they were searching everybody. Oh, shit. Investigating everybody. Yeah. And then they, they were like, you have an hour or we're going to come in and kill everybody. Something like that. And then oh. some thieves guilds were going to unleash a gin in the middle of all that or something. We, yeah. we pieced yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, oh, all right. Uh, in that case, um... He's not around. So, what? What? My, like my. So he had a bunch of shit on him, right? That I'm assuming someone in town has, right? Probably. Yeah. Okay. You find that person, you'd be like, "Hey, guy owed me money." Okay. Well, give me a shit. That, that's that's one way to go about it. The other way is I will pay you what he owed you. Okay. But do you? There's three of us, mm-hmm. and this will hold maybe two uncomfortably. Yeah. Do you think there's any way we could make this hold more than two? I have an idea. Okay. 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 We take we take planks of wood, and three of us. Oh, sorry, two of us. Three of us. Mm-hmm. You're driving, right? So the three of us strap into our feet, long ropes, and then we kind of like slide on our feet over the sand. Right. So uh, anyway. No, it's a good idea. Look. A lot could the, go wrong with that. The big yeah, problem, but a lot could go right. The big problem coming south through the desert that I had uh, was there's, I don't know if you've, you've seen any maps of the desert or anything. Never once but there's, ever. There's, Actually, yes, we have this map. Oh, oh yeah. cool. That's perfect. That's a perfect <laughs> map. Oh, look. The, the unusual triangle is marked out in the middle of this map here. Oh, yeah. um, and so if you look at it, you see... This whole part of the journey, not too difficult, okay? Uh-huh. This part of the journey, also not too difficult. Yeah, it's that, that triangle it's, mid it's part, right? Yeah. So, in there, there are... Right. You could, it's but it would be... Uh-huh. Right. You would. You maybe, could maybe it is. scoop maybe around it, but it seems like inside that area, there's, uh, there's some monsters that have very delicate sense of smell. Now, this baby, one person, zooms past them, they can't keep up. Very useful. Man, see, I tricked this thing out because I know, what's his face? He had the lion, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, so I, I installed this special crystal into it, okay? Be able to attune to to the celestial plane, similar yeah. to how the lion does, okay? Mm-hmm. Put a lot of thought into it. So Sounds he'd be able to awesome. he'd be able to dismiss it and then resummon it just like his lion. Oh, that would be great. Oh, that'd be cool. But uh if, so <laughs> You got a problem over there? Hey, actually. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa,
<laughs> Let's pretend like that's not actually his voice. Uh, <laughs> this isn't more compensating and, uh, constantly. And, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, actually, this is better. Add a game. Add a game. You can learn find familiar at ten. And I can learn find greater find steed. steed. Find steed. I can learn find greater steed at ten. Hmm? So Which like is what I was planning to do. Anyway. You yeah. you could. Yeah. No, I know. Motorcycle. I, yeah. As soon as he started going oh. down the bay, already, okay. already there. Okay. <gasps> Back to Morg. Uh, I'm Morg. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> well, I could potentially... Uh, one person alone would be able to outpace these things. Okay. Okay. It took me... It only took me from Baldur's Gate, like, three days oh, wow. on this thing. Because it motors. It goes real fast. Yeah. Super convenient. Okay. Um, but some kind of cycle that motors. Yeah, yeah. You call it a cycle motor. <laughs> cycle motor. I like it. I like that a lot. CM. Cycle motor. Because it's, it's got CM. Yeah, a seam. Mm. Yours is better, CM. CM. Okay. Um. Regardless, I don't think it would be able to go fast enough pulling other people behind it. Um, just through that area. Uh, now, if we can't go south reasonably, we would want to go north. Yeah. Yep. And we would need a. We would either need a. We we would need a big enough group to safely fight off these fucking things. Mm. Now I know that they have a very sensitive sense of smell. For fleshy type things. So, either things that don't smell at all, because they're not fleshy type things, would be okay. Me. Nope. You're a fleshy <laughs> type thing. You're the opposite. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yep. You're right. You're uh, right. You're right. Keep going. So that would be okay. Yeah. Um, but that's it. I don't know. Maybe maybe some of the locals have more information on a good way to get through the triangle. Um, I could ask more of the prostitutes. So what about going around this thing? Um, yeah, the only problem with that is walking is... Like problem. not walking, but driving. Yeah. Around this thing. With, with my cool... With your cool... Footboard ideas. ideas. Yeah. Clearly. We could do that. Yeah, that's definitely Just take something. a while, right? And take longer. Yeah, the only problem is water the only problem is at that point. Oh, we got 59 gallons worth of water we can carry with us easily. Right, so... That's not bad. What are that? Get us like seven, <laughs> six, seven days of water? Roughly. All right. It'd and I mean, plus, it. that's just that one thing, not including the rest of us Being able carrying to carry water, water. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's certainly something Smart. we could do. Smart now. <laughs> yep. Um, I mean, we could get, if they have kegs of water, we could get kegs yeah. of water strapped to the sides of this thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's. It doesn't have an unlimited yeah, weight we, capacity. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, now we know. So now I know. Yeah. It moving through the sand kind of slows it down some already. Pulling the added friction of three. You keep saying three, but you also have that little cat guy poking out of your backpack. Yeah, he's a little. He's a little. He's a little. Oh, I'm just saying. He didn't make a cute face. He. How long? What? Does your new spell last? The one that makes things real big. Can you make a motorcycle real, real big? <laughs> that would be cool. I um, forgot about that. He makes it larger reducer. Yeah. <laughs> a decent. I forgot about that. Um, uh, Did I write it down? God, I hope so. Yeah. I wrote it somewhere. Uh, up to an hour. Concentration free. Uh, okay. Maybe longer later. It's a fourth level spell, you said? I can't cast. Oh, you can't cast. Yeah. Yes. So you, yeah. Yes. So that never. Right? Happened. Yeah. Okay. But I was going to say, I was looking at haste, but it says willing creature. I'm like, this thing doesn't count as a creature, right? No, no. It does have some stats, but it's not a creature. <sighs> yeah, I was going to say, if we can make it bigger, then everybody could just write If you attune a celestial animal to it, is that a willing creature? Yeah. That would work. Celestial animal. 
Well, could, if you can guess, find C at some point. Not yeah, I know, but I'm saying theoretically. Yes. Yeah. Theoretically, yes. theoretically, if you, you could were use to something like that, like Zion to give it like a certain count. amount of consciousness to be able to maneuver on its own. Dead. Okay, well, he's not dead. Zion's no, not no, dead. No, Zion's not dead. Um, he's trapped forever all alone in his uh, home plane. Yeah. So it's not a bad idea, mm. but I, I'm just not confident in its ability to pull everybody in a group. What powers it? What? Uh, the engine. What powers the engine? Magic. Magic? Oh. So here, okay. So. <laughs> fuck me, guys, right? Asking questions. No, it's a reasonable question. I thought so. So, what I did, if you'd like to get technical. I would love to get technical. Okay, so you, you understand how the gnomes were able to use the, the I power. understand literally nothing. Okay. So the gnomes <laughs> are able to use the power of the attuning crystals. Yeah to uh, harness magical powers from wherever magic comes from in general. Totally. Okay? Yep. So uh, what I was able to do okay. is I was able to use that mm -hmm. to create a certain amount of heat, uh. which inside of this large steel block, yeah. which I, I'm calling an engine block, it was able Oddly to specific, but go on. create enough heat yeah. to create an explosion, which mixed Ooh. with a certain amount of air, which uh. was really the hard part, find the right... Explosion that. In the air. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the yeah. right ratio. It's called uh, stoichiometry. St exactly. Yeah. So you know some things. I literally, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You just literally made that up. It's I got a fun you. Word. Um, <laughs> and it, uh, it, it, at the correct uh, temperature, explodes and then mm -hmm. uh, creates a small explosion, which Same. pops the pistons. Yeah. Which <laughs> Same. Yep. <laughs> so it, uh, <laughs> it is able to create a certain amount of energy, which I am able to mm -hmm. harness mechanically. Yeah. To cause we like the wheels to spin. Gears and levers and shit. Gears, yeah, exactly. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, I, I learned something. Yeah. And, and, you know, I always say, uh, learn something. You no. Know? I've never heard him say that. <laughs> anyway, listen, that's not the point. So here is what... Pull in everybody. I'm not confident it would be any faster than walking. Okay, no, I'm. I, that's fine. My point is, you're saying that it can go fast, but... If we're going to do it and it's not going to go fast, then we're going to need more people because we're going to have to go be slow. slower. But if that's no faster than walking, why are we taking this thing with us in the first place? Yeah. If there's no reason. To bring water? Yeah, it could be to our... To carry water. Our water mule. Because, mm. like, well, then walking wouldn't be, like, quite as bad because we'd have more, like... But if we're bringing it with us and the whole problem is things that can smell it, isn't this just going to be that much worse on attracting things to mm. it? Maybe the weird mechanical smell will repel them. That's a possibility. They were they were coming after me on it. Can I, they were or weren't? They were, yeah. Oh. But Can I, I was able to absolutely... it to smell like something else? Well, I don't think it's it. I think it was me that was oh. the smell. Well, yeah. And which would also include you guys. Um, but can we... So as you guys are having all this conversation, a, a large fat man um, in, you know, uh, desert style attire uh, with a turban and a big beard and a, uh, a cutlass is going to walk up to you guys. And you'll, he's coming over from the uh, group of camels that seem to, he seems to be some sort of merchant. Um, and he's uh, going to walk up to you all and he's going to, you know, he's got a big toothy grin and he's got a couple of gold teeth. And he's like, ah, are we trying to find a way to head north? I already forgot what direction we're going. Yes. Yes! Ah, through the desert, then. Unless you know another way. The only way out is through, as far as I'm concerned. We were able to uh, escape the city of Calimport undetected and mostly unmolested. The <laughs> battle there uh, rages <laughs> So, uh, unfortunately, we had to leave. Um, but I am in the market for some more guards. I can guard. You can guard. I'd be willing to pay 20 gold here. I will supply you with food and water for the travel. I can pay you another 50 gold upon arrival over at uh, Calum Charnon which is on the northern end of the desert. Good pay, dangerous work through the center of the desert. Um, there's a, a, a long ago, there was a large beast, um, which 
uh, roamed the deserts. The uh, tabaxi people were able to confine it magically to only be able to patrol a certain uh, area within the deserts. So there's a very dangerous portion of the deserts. We get through that, everybody's okay. I tend to lose eh, 10, 15% of my either stock or uh, people along the way. That was, in, that was very informative. Yeah. Uh, Just trying to be going here. Yeah, we could be going here. Yeah, that sounds, well, first, like, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, right? I mean, I don't have a better yeah, idea. Yeah, right? Yeah. Best bet. Yeah? Hold out my, oh, hold out my hand. Ah, very well, very well. Your names. Deal. I'm a uh, morgue. Ah, okay. Darian. Darian. Very nice, I like that. It just immediately gives me confidence. Yeah, me too. All right, so he's like- I could do anything. Yes, very we well. have no repercussions. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not how the world works. No, 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 eventually it would catch up to you, these bad decisions. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh. All right, fair okay. enough. Rules well, are meant to be broken. Be <laughs> ready to leave, say an hour, okay? One hour. One hour. All right. All right. All right. And you're going to see, he's going to walk up to you, eat him, and he's going to be like, ah, you look like a strapping young robot. <laughs> tried my hardest, guys. I really did. <laughs> Just to make this as difficult as possible for Jake. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> missed it. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, yes. I'm looking to hire beings. <laughs> In order to help guard my caravan, uh, I lost some people coming out of the uh, city of Calimport and the troubles there. I was wondering if you would uh, like to become part of my employ. Yeah, I suppose if you'll pay me. I will pay you. I'll pay you 20 gold up front and then 50 gold at the end of the desert. Sounds good. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we will leave in an hour. Um, you might want to talk to these guys. As they are uh, my new recruits, and the four of you will have to share a bunk. What I just said to Celine was, if Pat said no, that would have been the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, very well. So uh, what I need you to do then is, I need you to roll me 4d6. <laughs> Five times. What was the next Six one? times. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. All right. And um, the goblin's going to stand there and he's like, well, sounds like you guys got what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, good luck. Yeah. yeah. I don't... Um, uh, leave your number with Temerity in case he wants to inquire about that at some point. Oh, well, I... Number. I mean, I'll, if, do you want it? Because, I mean, he paid you for it. I'll, I'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. I'll take it through the desert. I don't know what your plan is. Wow. Unless your plan was to take it and then ride it back through to the north. That was my next plan, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I could, I guess I could come along. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to force you. It's your call. I mean, you know, have we ever seen him fight? No. no. You do know he has a couple of pistols on his belt. Yeah, I knew, but I couldn't remember the Noel fight if he was involved in that. No, okay. no, he just sat and watched. Okay. Uh, Patrick tried to intimidate him one time before they ended up becoming did, business partners, did but that didn't work. Um, you do know he has a coffee machine uh, that he made himself. And I will invite him to join us. <laughs> uh, I say, listen, Mucka, it's, I mean, you came all the way out here for Padraig, and he's gone, mm -hmm. and you were just looking for payment, and then, like, I could have just let you go to Caliport, and then you'd have to deal with all yeah. that shit, but I didn't, because you do good work, mm -hmm. you also have a coffee machine, and that really, nothing has endeared you more to me than that. <laughs> That's fair. Um, That's you know what? I think I'll hold yeah. on to this for now. Sure. Um, That's fair. Because uh, Sal was supposed to have second goes on it. That makes sense. And if he doesn't want it, then that's cool. But I'll hang out with you guys for now. 
yeah. make a little cool. money, sure. help this guy escort through the desert, and uh, hopefully everything works out fine. And if not, that's why I got these babies. And he like unusually <laughs> lovingly rubs the <laughs> handles of his guns. Mm. So uh, what do you uh, what do you do with those? Um, oil them mostly every day. Got to keep them. Got to keep them in uh, peak condition. Okay. I mean, it's probably like that guy we met in Orchard Springs. Remember that guy? Oh yeah, he had the, they were loud. They were yeah. louder than I expected. Yeah, and I meant to take him, and I forgot. Yeah, ah, through the guy. Ah, oh, through that girl yeah. in the fire. Oh, good times, good guys. Time. She died in such agony. Uh. I tried to set that church on fire. You did. It still stands to this day. <laughs> it really Probably. Yeah. Uh, All right, cool. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to do for the next hour before yes, you head? I'm going to go talk to the town guards and be like, there was an idiot here. It looked like he was running away from the law. Uh, he's probably dead. Mm hmm. How'd that go? Oh, um,. No, no, he's not that. He is, uh, he's inside of uh, the jail right now. He is, uh, seems to be paralyzed <laughs> from the, uh, uh, from the, uh, from the neck down. Uh, yes, yes, he is quite the villain, but we believe he's gotten his own personal comeuppance here. Oh, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. So we will use, uh, we will sell his, his armor and his items uh, to hopefully pay some restitution to the families that his bird killed. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. We'll let them wither away slowly. Seems like justice. Do you have anything cool? The hammer. I watched Cast Haste. Forgot about that hammer. That's about it. Or the necklace that was a, let you store a spell in it, but I think it was only if you were a paladin or a cleric or something. Mm hmm. Okay. Holy symbol. Okay. Yeah. Holy symbol. I think that was it. And his, I mean, his armor and stuff. And they stuff. weren't magic, though. No. They were just armor, and none of us could wear it anyway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Well. Oh. Hopefully, he lives a long and painful life before he dies slowly in that cell to live, to just get the supreme justice that he deserves for murdering so many people innocently. Mm -hmm. And then coming back to the scene of the crime like a fool. Like a and fool. And admitting it openly. Yes, yes, it was unusual. And then to, to disarm and disarmor and then kill one of the guards in the cell, which was, which was really just an insult more than anything to us as we, uh, we well, we would have given him a trial. It would have been fair as far as things go. But it is what it is. It is what it is. In the meantime, I'm gonna ask the, uh, our new fat boss what mm. he sells. Me? Uh, I sell all sorts of things. Unfortunately, I was not able to leave Calumport with uh, much of my my stock. Oh, what do you got? Mostly silks. Oh. Never mind. Why? I don't uh, I'm not in the market for silks. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I'm good after I talk to that guy. All right. I'll come tell you guys that they're going to sell off Patrick's shit to pay oh. for the people that he murdered. Do I want that hammer? Do you want that hammer? Do I want that hammer? It's a war Do hammer. Do you want that hammer? It gives you haste. Do I want that? I don't know. know. It's be a plus one war hammer in your hands. Can was it not? It was already a plus one. Would it be a plus yeah. two? Would it be plus right? two? Oh, you don't know. I've I'm... never come across a magic weapon oh. as a fork. Yeah, I'll be right back, and I'm running back over there. Hey, uh, so I heard this guy, and you're selling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Dark Tiefling just told me. Ah. Yeah. Yes, yes, we are planning on selling his items to recoup. Um, I heard he had a cool hammer. Yes. Uh, may I hold it for a moment? Um, I will. I mean, I will give you something as exchange if you'd like. I have this, and I'll take off my uh, amulet of lifeblood. Ah. Magic uh, collateral. I just literally just want. Okay, to sure. Yeah, he'll invite you inside of of the the little guard tower. Um, you can see there's like 
four guards mm -hmm. hanging around. Mm -hmm. They have all of his armor and stuff. You'll see Patrick just like laying there completely unmoving in one of the cells. Can't even make that noise. <laughs> it it reminds more of the of episode one where they dueled. It's a very similar look. Yeah. Uh, and Mark smiles, thinking back of that memory. Wow. It's a fond memory. Um, oh. And you'll see uh, there's there's his armor and his shield. Uh, there's his sword, and as well, there is the hammer. Uh, his shield was just a regular shield, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reach over and grab the hammer. Uh -huh. Is it a plus two? You don't know that. Why not? Because <laughs> you wouldn't know that. I would like to, though. Well, that's fair. Maybe you should have brought Darian yeah, to come see bit. this for you. Uh, she has magic eyes. Yep. Oh. Um, oh, we're in a tower, right? You are in a tower. I look out the window. <laughs> yep. Can I see Darian? No. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at her. Darren! Do I hear him? Bro, yeah, sure. <laughs> yep, you hear him. Uh, Big D! I run out. Well, everybody's just looking at you in here. I'm a weird guy. What do you want? Yeah, no, they don't want anything. <laughs> so you run over to the tower. How, how tall is the tower? Uh, it is 40 feet tall. Hey, uh, yeah. can my friend come up? You guys are on the bottom floor. You're oh, the ah. door's right there. Can my friend come in? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Darren. Darren, Darren. Uh, yeah. Tell me about this hammer. You, you can tell it's magic. It's magic? It's Patrick's hammer. It's, it's Patrick. It's, but is it it's like, always been magical. Is it like more magical now that I have it in my hand than it was when it was in his hand? Can I detect that? No. You can tell it's magic. I, I, it doesn't work like that. It's magic. That's all I got. I can't tell how magic it is. Okay, why don't you try putting it down? I put it down. All right, you can tell it's magic. It's magic. All right. And then I grab it. All right. And you can see like a little bit of like intertwining of the magic from Morg's arm into this. Oh, oh, wait. Wait a second. Yep. It's changing. Okay. Uh, all right. Little magic. A little magic. How much? They say to the guards. Well, how much are you willing to give for it? Um... I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a lot. So like 250 gold? Oh, no, no. We, we expect that when we auction it, I mean, we, we would be willing to sell it out for like a thousand. But we figure when we auction it, it'll go for at least, at least 800. Who in this town is gonna buy this for 800? Well, we aren't going to do it now. We're going to bring it to the city once things have calmed down a little bit. Uh, sell it there. So, that, I mean, but that's... I mean, you're gonna have two fifty now, or a thousand later. Yeah, a thousand later sounds so much better. Yep, that's fair. Here we go. Uh, may I have my amulet back? Yes, of course. Thank you. Um, fair enough. You drive a hard bargain, but a reasonable one. Ah, we do our best to be reasonable. All right, and nothing else he had is like useful for me or cool or an axe. No, no axes. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for coming, Darian. Oh, Shall we to the other place? Uh, yes. Yes. Right. Away we go! Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right. Cool. Um, so you guys are all hanging out. Uh, so does read. anyone else have anything that they need to do for the next hour? Nope. nope. Do you have your list of prepared spells? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so about an hour passes. Everybody's doing fine. You refill your large water skin, mm -hmm. which is actually just a regular size water skin, but it's mm. large in importance for going up through a desert. Fair. Um, and you guys will start heading north cool. uh, with the caravan. You'll see that there are uh, about 50 people total in the caravan. Um, there's like 80, 90 camels. Um, you guys are invited to, um, so the camels are all <clears throat> loaded up with a bunch of stuff. Um, so you guys are stuck walking along with them um, <laughs> as you don't have any mounts. Oh, uh, actually there are, uh, a couple of camels for sale at the um, in the oasis. If you okay. guys would like to purchase some, how much? One hundred twenty gold. You just want to sure. split a camel? Sure. Yeah, have it hold our shit. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Are you going in on it with us, Mucka? Uh, or are you just gonna put your shit on your? I just keep my shit on my, your on my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So you guys all start walking. Right. You see so the robot starts. 120s? Yeah, so it's 40 each. Um, you see the robot hanging so out. So easy to do this in D&D Beyond. It really is. D&D Beyond is a great application. Remove 40 gold. Look at that. 
going like that. It is funny that Ted was like, and I guess you can also track your goal, but it tends to be my favorite yeah. little thing to be able to do with it. My favorite functionality. Yeah. Cool. Always uh, keeps track. And you guys will see the robot oh, is walking along with you. Uh-huh. All right. Um, so as you guys are making your way out, um, you'll see that these the, the caravan does not seem to have a problem with traveling through the day. Um, you can see that a couple of the camels seem to be loaded up exclusively with water mm. and that apparently daytime travel is not a problem for these guys. They're all, none of them seem to be wearing any armor. They all have very light silks, light colored, and they are making their mm. way north. With you. Uh, before we leave the oasis, I would want to get um, as much information on camel care as I can. Okay. And any kind of provisions for my camel. I'm uh-huh. All right. Why don't you make an animal handling check? Please do. Two. Thirteen. All right. Uh, yeah, you. the guy gives you like a real quick rundown mm-hmm. on how to take care of a camel. Um, you get the sense that he is just excited to have your money. Um, and so he gives you like basic camel care. Doesn't sound too different from a horse. Okay. Um, but uh, generally... Uh, he, he'll sell you enough food to make it through to the northern part of the desert, and the camels should be okay on water based on your conversation earlier uh, okay. with the head of the caravan. Cool. Uh, I would like to spend as much of the journey as I can uh, telling stories and ingratiating the, our new camel to me. Okay. Uh, do you guys have a name for your camel? Nope. I don't care. Sally! Because we will use it to sally forth. <laughs> All right. How can I argue with that? Cool. Um, so you guys load up your camel. And Came right after Sally third. Oh. Sally fourth? No. No. Yeah. no. Fair. I, think I got fair. it, but it was. I should have just left it. Yeah. I pushed it too hard. That's yeah. fair. I think I think it was the. What is it? Yeah, but sometimes I do that. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. Um, Howard taft it out of my room. Oh! <laughs> Um, so you guys all start <laughs> heading north, um, and you'll see that there is a, a the, the see, robot. I why you had such a problem with it. Everybody got it. Is <laughs> walking north with you. Cool. I'm, I'm just leaving my camel in tow, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you bought, you, you the robot are bringing a camel? Yeah, just out of the group. Just to have yeah. a camel? Yeah. He's got a camel. Sure. Right. So you have a camel. Um, and you guys are all heading north, uh, and you can see that, uh, Mucka's on his, uh, cycle motor, and he's just like, like, just pop, 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 and you can hear it, like, popping and clicking, and every once in a while, like, he'll stop and, like, <coughs> check a little something, this and that. He's like, I haven't got all the kinks worked out, but, you know, I'm working on it. Hey, you know a little something about, uh, mechanics, I assume, eh? Being mechanics yourself? Maybe. You want to take a look at this thing, see if you can... Fuck no. Oh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. And, like, he'll, like, mm, away from you. <laughs> Fall back. And then you hear him swear a little. Um, <laughs> and, swear a lot. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, Pat, why don't you roll me a percentile? As you guys start moving your... 65. All right, 65. Cool. Um, so the first day goes fine. There doesn't seem to be any issues. Uh, you guys all set up camp. Um, the, uh, the leader's going to head around. He, they have like a, uh, they have a roast feeds everybody. You know, seems like a just pretty normal group of people. There's like 35, 40 guards. You guys all as a group of you, the six of you, um, including you, the kid. The cat yeah. mm-hmm. and Maka and um, Edom all get sent out for one guard shift over the night, just two hours, mm-hmm. nothing wild. Oh, okay. And then um, the, the night goes by perfectly fine and normal. You wake up the next day, um, it's a little bit warm, but nothing crazy, <laughs> and you uh, sally forth again. Mm. Good girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Darian, why don't you roll me a percentile? Fourteen. All right. Fantastic. 
Oh, and then I also need Darien and Temerity to roll percentiles. Just don't roll a one. No, that is impossible. Eleven. Because that's a two. So that is a two. All right, there you go. <laughs> Two's fine. Eleven. Does my wiener itch? It uh, has been several days. No, no it's how been is one, my, how one is, day. It has been one, one day. day. How is my wiener? It feels fine. Okay. Perfectly fine. Okay. I just want to isolate that as a clip. Just me asking how my wiener is. <laughs> how How is my wiener? Does it itch? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Um, cool. All right. That works well. Uh, the second day goes perfectly fine. You guys are moving your way north mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. the desert. Um, Morg, why don't you roll me a percentile? 54. Okay. So you guys are making your way through uh, the third day of the desert. It's pretty peaceful. Um, you guys will uh, see some uh, another smaller merchant caravan uh, making its way south. Um, Do they have cool shit? Are they coming anywhere remotely close to us? Yeah, it's, it's generally along the same line. Okay. Um, you guys will... Uh, the, the two heads of the merchant caravans will like stop and chat. You'll see that these guys do have some, uh, you, you actually can't tell because it's all packed up on okay. camels, uh, which makes it difficult, but you can't see, you don't see anything especially cool. Okay. Uh, you will notice that there is some light magic on one of the camel packs for okay. that. And you will also notice that um, on the, the head camel, um, that the the leader of your caravan rides. He also seems to have some magic in his pack. Mm. Um, <coughs> but they'll t- they'll talk for a while, and you can see that like uh, a couple of the camels on this other one coming south are injured. Uh, it looks like maybe they took some losses as they were making their way south Man. through. Um, so Poor you guys will camel. go. The rest of the day goes uneventfully. Um, he will stop uh, maybe half hour early. Um, compared to the other couple days and kind of gather everybody around and he'll say, okay, things have gone pretty well so far, but I just want to let everyone know that tomorrow we will enter the the, uh, the danger zone. All right, that'll be about the four day trek through it. All right, mm-hmm. we expect fully to have some, some difficulties from these monsters, okay? And he will give you a description of what they look like. They're these large uh, insect like creatures uh, with long snouts um, and he'll explain that they have like these little tongues that they kind of like snake out in a bunch of directions um, from them they're you know they get they can when they rear up they could be like eight ten feet tall uh, they don't travel in large packs but even just one or two of them can be very dangerous uh, to a group and um, they're usually come after you know, any, any sort of flesh type creature, very aggressive. Um, so that, that's what you guys will be looking out for mostly. Uh, are any of their appendages poisonous? Uh, no, they're just, just large enough to take down their prey mechanically. Okay. Good Uh, to know. Yes. (laughs) So, um, so he'll give you that. He'll, uh, he'll pass around like a, like a large bottle of alcohol Everybody kind of gets a little bit drunk. Um, and then, Ted, why don't you roll me a percentile? 59, dudes. All right. Got him. Cool. All right. Um, then, Pat, why don't you roll me a d10? What? All right, cool. So, uh, it's... Middle of the night, it's your guys' watch. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. You guys got a good, decent rest mm-hmm. uh, before this. Everybody's feeling perfectly fine. Um, and you guys are kind of spread out around the northern part of um, your camp. Mm-hmm. You got about like 10, 15 feet between each of you. Um, and everybody can make me a perception check. Nine. 19. Oof. 19. 12. Okay. Um, all right. So as you guys are going, it's been about an hour into your watch, and 
um, you will notice uh, that actually from inside of the camp, uh, you'll hear like some rustling in one of the tents um, and you'll see a figure like sneak out through the sand underneath it. And he seems to be, uh, start, starts walking away from the camp to the east. We do that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, and also oh. like, how far apart are we? Like 10, 15 feet. Boop. Oh. All right. So you see all these guys start heading to the east. And then as you look further east, you'll see a figure walking away. I'll follow, but like. Set further. back a little yeah. bit. All right, cool. Um, so you guys all go. Um, Mucka's standing there and he's like, oh, I guess I'll just. Keep watch over here then. With the kid. Kid stays. <laughs> oh, the kid doesn't have to go. Oh, much. good. He's, <laughs> he's exempt from it. He is a child. Yeah. yeah. You can tell that the uh, the, the leader of the caravans, he's not necessarily a good guy, but he is just like a a regular guy who hmm. who doesn't expect too much out of children. Okay. Um, hmm. So as you guys start walking next, or uh, walking towards this guy, uh, he's probably like 120 feet away. How are you guys going to try? Are you going to try to approach stealthily? Yes. Or are you going to be like, hey, you? Oh, uh, I am going to try and approach stealthily because I want to get close enough to be able to shoulder smasher him. Oh, okay. So that is Morg's train of thought. Get close enough to hit him. Right. Uh, so if any of the other party members have a different thought, Morg will just listen to them. I was going to go still late, but like, yeah, not I mean, too far in. <laughs> like, how fast I'm is this distance. thing moving? Uh, you can tell it's a humanoid figure, um, and he seems to be just, he, he's not like hustling. He's just about to be leaving the camp proper, um, and it looks like he's slowly starting to like pick up speed. But right now he's moving, but he's just a, a quick walk. I guess we'll attempt to go yeah. stealthily. All right, cool. So everybody can make me a stealth check. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! What? I got a natural one. So did I. Ooh. Wait, we have charges, right? Yeah, they're right over there. Okay. Worth the charge? Yes, definitely. Right? Um, yes. Right. This side's not doing well. All right, that's a sixteen. Oh, that was almost a natural twenty. All right, um, nineteen. And what was Temerity's? 29. Ah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I guess that's acceptable. Um, so Temerity seems to have taken to the desert well. Um, you guys are just a fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just like, he it's like in the darkness, he's wearing desert style clothing. I see, you could just, you can't even smell it on him anymore. He's <laughs> part of the desert. Um, but you guys are able to um, start sneaking up on this guy. <laughs> And he looks around, but he doesn't see you guys. And uh, you see him like dip over a sand dune, and then you start to hear like the, a faster shuffling of feet. Okay. How how far away right now? Uh, you guys get to about sixty feet away from him without him noticing, and then um, Edom's about twenty feet behind you guys. All right. Um, I'm gonna look over at Tamara to be like, should I take him down? All right, uh, then I'm going to attempt to uh, dash at him right. and get him with my shoulder smasher. All right, uh, cool. Before, attempt to cast before a spell you do that, oh, well, I was going to say, can I try to cast whole person on him? Yeah. yeah before you smash him? Uh, I mean, you can, but that's more wouldn't wait for you. Well, that's to do that. fair. Yeah. Right. But I still got to, like, so why yeah. turn my the, cute little feet to get are there. Are you doing anything? Or are you just observing these three? I'm observing. Okay. So why don't the three of you roll initiative, and we'll see what order you guys surprise this guy. Oh, no, it's not going to be me. I think Six. level seven is danger, or the advantage. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so that is just a 15. Okay. 18. Okay, cool. So 18. So what do you do first? Uh, I cast Phantasmal Force on him ah. to make an investigation check. Ah. I'm sorry, no, intelligence saving throw. Okay. All right, he will fail his intelligence saving throw. Right, he thinks he's stuck in a soundproof box that's on fire. Ah. And he can't, and it's opaque for him. Okay. Um. If you take uh, 
five points of psychic damage. All right, cool. Uh, so you see this guy like all of a sudden like start mining, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna really start screaming a little bit because it's not actually a soundproof box. No. Um, and he thinks he's on fire, and he's gonna scream, "I'm on fire!" Um, and then uh, Morg is it's your turn. Oh, uh, I'm going to put my shoulder down, mm -hmm. put my legs behind me. That didn't really make sense, but you get one. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. I'm going to hit him. Charge. All right, cool. Uh, you will have advantage on this because he is A, surprised, and B, can't see you coming at all. Fair. Yes, he rationalizes that the box does this to him. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't even... I'm going to rage for the fight. Like, Are we trying to Why not? Me? But I'm or going to do non-lethal damage. Okay. okay. I stopped him. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, that's, that was the goal. Like, that wouldn't yeah. stop me, but, like, yeah. All right. All right. So, I'm going to roll to shoulder smash. Cool. Um, natural 20. Oh, yes. right. That hits. So, Ooh. that Ooh. is going to be. Wait, so I would. It does 2d10, so I would do 5d10? Yes. Okay. Uh, 18. Uh, no, that's a 1, not a 10. Uh, so, 9. All right. Uh, 20. <coughs> 21 plus 6. 21 plus 6 is 27. 27. So I do. Oh, that's such a shit. I got, th I got three ones. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's D10s or D6s. <laughs> so you, you lower your shoulder in, and charge into this guy mm -hmm. and, um, you hit him, you run right through him, and he just hits the ground. Pop. Unconscious. I got him! More yells to and, you guys. And then I'm going to flip him over and yeah. start going through his pockets. All right, cool. Uh, you'll see that he has, like, in yeah, like uh, in his arms, he has, like, a, a sack that has some sort of object in it. Um, is it magic? It is not magic. Um, but uh, in his pockets, you'll find eight gold. Uh, you'll find uh, that he has like four gallons of water on his person, um, as well as uh, a dagger that's non magical. Uh, I um, don't even take it. That's fair enough. And um, he's also got a, a nice pair of sand shoes, which Ooh. seem like they were pretty ideal for walking in the sand. Uh, do Would they fit me? Yes. I take the boots. All right. And no, the they're not boots. They're oh, sorry, shoes. 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 I take the shoes. Yes. And, uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. uh, what's in what's in the pack? What's, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Uh, you open it up and you see a large uh, glass ball. It seems to be some sort of divining crystal ball. Oh, dumb. Uh, <laughs> Morg thinks. Yes. Sean thinks it's a very cool idea. Um... Let's bring him back. Yeah. So I, 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 yeah, and just drag him back. Okay. By his ankle. Okay. Like, all right, let's do it. Uh, so as you guys turn around, uh, Edom, you'll see all this go on. I can see the ball. Yep. Can I make an arcana check to see if I know what it is? Sure. Uh, Twenty-three. Um. Yeah. You you'd be able to tell that this um glass ball would be used for divination spells. Um, so that implies that someone in the camp is able to use divination magic. All right. All right. Um, so you guys... I'm driving back to yeah. wherever the tent that it was taken from. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you guys uh, start heading back, and you'll see that um, this is... So there's, like, the leader of the caravan. He's got, like, a slightly larger tent. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing especially fancy. Mm -hmm. You know, he... he doesn't want to waste time having to set up and break down a fancier right. tent. Uh, but next to him um, is a guy who had been riding most of the time, um, and he is a uh, he's a, a lizard man, and he's uh, been riding up front with him um, on a, on his own camel, um, and that was the tent that it was taken okay. from. So cool. you guys go and what? Are they there? Did they hear the guy screaming, I'm on fire? Uh, some of the people from the camp have, some of the other guards, uh, and you can see that there's like rustling coming out. Um, and after a minute or two, you'll see the, the lizard man come out of this tent. Um, and he's looking pretty groggy. And you'll be like, this guy was stealing something from your tent. Uh, hand him the thing. Okay. Hand him the guy. Uh, 
and he'll like he'll like take him by the by the ears. Uh, I was holding his ankle. Ah, so his ears are down. There. Yeah, so we'll grab him, him, lift him up by oh. the ears, <laughs> um, and lift him up by him, and he's gonna like smell him, and then he's gonna like smell his own armpit. Good. Yes. Thank you for this. And he'll reach into his pocket, and he'll he'll pull out like some sort of fried bug, and he'll give one to you. He says, "Save that." Yeah. And he'll give one to you for later. Later. And he'll give one to you, and then I'll say, mm. and he has like one more in his hand, and he'll say, "For the other, yes, yes. What? For the other." You'll need them in three days hence. Don't need okay. them yet. Don't need them then either, but don't need them now. I so never tell. eat them? No, no, never eat them. Are they food? They are. That I'm not gonna eat? But not for you. Okay, for Mucka? That's the other one, right, Mucka? I don't know. I just, like, in your brain, I'm just like, just... Three days hence. You'll need them. I will put them... Are they a vegetable? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can tell they're insects. Fried insects. No. No. Oh, yeah. And then I put them in a different pouch, just in case. Uh, there are vegetables. Yes. <laughs> yes. Quite indeed. Very well. Mm. Uh, and then I guess, okay, good night. <laughs> and then I leave. Go back to watch. <laughs> Monkey, you should have seen. I was great. Ah, wow, what'd you do? I hit a guy. Good, good. <laughs> it's fun. Good, I'm glad, I'm happy. Temerity made him think he was on fire. Uh-huh, good. He wasn't. No, no, no but the thought's enough, I suppose. <laughs> it was effective. Yeah. Time. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, next time. Next time, yep. Well, I try not to get into fights, but if I do, yeah, I'm ready <laughs> for that. Mm-hmm. I gotta, I, please yep. stop, I have to piss. All right, that sounds good. Actually, I've got a piss too. Actually, Internet, I really do. So we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit with more coffee, and we'll continue our trek through the desert. There's an Ori. Uh, you guys uh, wake up the next morning. The rest of your night goes perfectly uneventfully. Um, Do a long rest then? Yes, you guys get a long rest. So <coughs> those of you who spent long rest type things... Uh, feel better. Um, the next morning, you all wake up, and a couple of things happen. First thing that happens is, uh, Darian, you will feel uh, a light landing on your shoulder. Oh. And you will feel the invisible presence of Ilzaib. What's up? Not much. Just finished making my way to Baldur's Gate and back. Oh, how many days has it been? Four, seven, seven, eleven. I don't know. I wasn't counting days. Were you counting days? Obviously not. I think eleven total. Some. It's been a while. That I was a long trip. I, I think it was eleven total. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I went straight north, and apparently you're supposed to go a little bit to the west, also. Uh. As you're making your way up, so I, I uh, got to the end of the desert. And uh, there's a couple of roads, and I actually I ended up uh, a lot further west or east than I was supposed to. But gotcha. but uh, yeah, man, there's some there's some shit going on and in this next it? section of the desert. What's up? Pretty can crazy. You, well, there's some there's some us? there's some big insects crawling around, and that's not so unusual. Mm-hmm. But what's really crazy is like there's this. There's this monster. It's like two, three hundred feet tall. It's got this big old sword. It's dragging through the desert, and it's going in some sort of triangular path through it. And it, uh, it's slow, and it's it's pretty far east of where we are right now. Um, but yeah, this thing's this thing's quite mm-hmm. massive, and it seems to be uh, attracting these these insects are following behind it. Yeah. And it's, uh, I always watched it for like, you know, an hour or so, just because it was, and I was bored. Um, and it was slowly, it's, it's skin kind of like falls off of it. Like, yeah, like, like, uh, you ever had like a uh, pork rind? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of what like it looks that? like. Yeah, what it, <sighs> he's not talking to you. 
Yeah. You can only hear any of this. Morg's hungry for other reasons. It's eggs for breakfast and temerity. It doesn't work for you. Nope. Um, <laughs> why are they bringing also, eggs in the desert? Food? Also it's coffee. Terrible. That's a terrible idea. Uh, <laughs> it's a terrible idea. It's right? a terrible idea. Maybe somebody's got some sort of oh, way to keep an egg fresh through the desert. Like a chicken. <laughs> Lays the eggs in the morning. And then you have fresh yeah, egg. There you go. Fresh there eggs. You, go. Yeah. you can even have fresh chicken. Um... There's also some uh, falafel that you feel perfectly fine about eating. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, so I don't know, this thing's flesh just seems to be sloughing off pretty regularly, and these insects seem to be eating it and then reproducing from being able to eat that, which seems to be uh, why they're all over the place around here. Gotcha. Do they stay within the, like, confines of the triangle? Uh, I, I don't know. As far as I saw, yeah. I'm sure that it's not like that. I'm sure there's not like a hard line that they won't pass. Right, right, right. But it seems like this, the triangle is this thing's path. Gotcha. And the, uh, the insects say within that. So, uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't have anything uh, pressing from Kovacs. So I'm, I'll just hang out, do what you tell me. Cool. Roll a detail. He might be bringing you something. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And I uh, found this. Or we'll remind you of something. Uh, I feel like this one makes the least amount of sense. I feel like you should. I think you should. Yeah. Because it would be weird that a servant brings you another servant. (laughs) 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 I found this for you. (laughs) I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Nine. A helmet made from the skull of a black ram. Yep. Oh, fucking uh, (laughs) red had that. Yeah. Anyway, thought you might uh, like this. Cool. And it's uh, the only thing I saw on my way back that seemed to have any value at all. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. And he'll uh, he'll like kind of like sneak around your shoulders, and he's just sitting there invisibly. Sweet. Uh, and I, I I found a set of unbreakable violin strings. Oh, that nice. sounds incredibly useful. Um, Hard ones are so much easier to make. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't you uh, roll me? Uh, have you been messing around with the? Um... Uh, yeah, I guess so, right? Because sure. <laughs> so why I don't actually you roll me a, about an, an instrument check? Okay. So that'll be uh, efficiency we'll plus what? Um, you can say performance. Okay. Oh, I'll take that nineteen. Thank you. Twenty five. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Um, so you're you're looking at the way uh, these strings are all laid out. And um, you don't have the right uh, tool to fix it, mm. but you're able to identify that um, the tuning peg mm. up at the top is just the slightest bit loose when it's at the correct uh, tone. Mm. So you'll just need somebody with uh, some mechanical know-how be able to tighten this up, <laughs> and it should work perfectly fine for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's sitting there, and he's he's got like his his little coffee set up, and he's actually just pouring water into it right now. Um, and you can smell the, the the appealing aroma of coffee as that's going on. Don't be like, smells great. I love coffee. Mm-hmm. Listen, I was wondering. I've got this thing pretty much right where I want it, but. Something's wrong with this tuning peg. It seems like it's a little loose. Do you think maybe you could? You're pretty mechanical. You made this whole thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You think you That's could uh, maybe take a look at it, see if you can't, if we can fix it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me take a quick look. Maybe after my coffee. All right. All right. Sounds good. Cool. Um, so, is, it, is there enough for everyone? <laughs> maybe like, can I also have a cup of coffee, please? Likewise. Uh, yeah, I can make some more. I'm gonna get you guys some. Um, but uh, apparently, water is a little bit scarce around here, so it's gonna be a little bit concentrated. It'd be more like um. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, it'd be more like that. I'm trying to think of a cool, better name for it, but uh, mm. it's like drinking a little bit of muck. Ha, muck is muck. That's what I'll call it. It's a terrible. It's a terrible name. If you want some, that's what you gotta call it. Uh, what about <laughs> what if you call it something more like, like that? That sounds more like refreshing, more refreshing than muck, like a like 
like you think about psychomotor fluid. I was gonna say like <laughs> really puts like, the pep in you. Like like dew from a mountain. You ever been on a mountaintop? No nope. spring morning. It gives oh. you a surge of energy. Oh. So why not call it surge? Uh, <laughs> I have no good. Re- I, uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, but yeah. Oh I, well, you can know I what? Have Actually, some muck, please. Yeah, like a so, muck is muck. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, also, I have like a, I have like a, this, and he pulls out like a vial mm-hmm. like about that big. Yeah. Bull semen. Oh. 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 Glad I got mine. Call first. it a Red Bull. A Red Bull. Yeah, it's a little blood in it. No. Oh. Yeah, I no. fucking try anything once. Hit me up. All right, cool. Uh yeah, it's no. it's strong, and uh, everybody, you get a plus two initiative bonus for mm-hmm. the day. Take it. It's wild. Everybody else refuses. Has plus one. Would you like a cup of coffee? He says, eat them. What? Would you like? Would you like some? You, you want me to drink a drink? Nah, not necessarily. I don't know what you do. You're a... Fine, I'll take a cup. Oh, all right. So he gives you a little cup. <laughs> 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 all right, cool. Uh, as it gets on your face and then it goes down, uh, it seems to rev up your gears just a little bit and it'll give you a plus one to your initiative rolls for the day. I actually forgot that I had this. What is this instrument again? I don't remember what it technically um, is. It's a loop. Oh, it's a loop. Okay. <clears throat> but he was, yeah. All right. All right. So it's now that I wanted it because it wasn't mine. That's yes. What it was. How refreshing. You're welcome. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry, man. Um, I, I think I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Nah, it's not worth it's it. Not I gotta, worth gotta it. think about it. I just, uh, Oh, why don't you just like tighten it? Oh, duh. And he tightens it. He said it's <laughs> loose, so just tighten it. Does it fix it? It fixes it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great advice. Okay. Thanks, man. Sometimes I just get too inside of my own head about how to fix certain things. Oh. In fact, this back wheel, maybe I'll just tighten that a little. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I won't even charge commission. Hey, that's good because I wasn't getting paid. Oh, yeah, that was kind of the issue, wasn't it? I keep on getting confused. That's okay. I have all this shit on this page here, and I'm like trying to figure out what the hell it's from. All these notes. 20 dissolving crossbow bolts. Did I buy those? It's on my list here. Um, I think. Yes, I believe that you did when you brought... There's a wood carving of a strange creature. Small pouches of ashes that remove ink. Does this sound familiar to anybody? All these are things I think I got from your crazy list. Yes. A magical, quote, acorn. Yeah. All right, that was that. Yeah. Um, and a rock's feather? Yep. I don't remember what that was. Did that do anything, or was that just a big feather? That's a big feather. It doesn't do anything magical, but it's there. It's a big feather. All right, that just... Apparently there's rocks around in the desert somewhere. I don't have a hat. You don't have a hat. If I get a hat, it's going in the hat. It's going to look stupid, but I like I it. Got it. You have a helmet. No, I don't. I took the hat from the guy. Yeah, oh, his, right. his really big shade hat. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's a shade hat. I mm-hmm. forgot about that. Um, so as you guys are going, um, <laughs> one, of, one of the two of you roll uh, d20s. Which two? You and Mork. Yeah, Temerity. Uh, I got a nine on my d20. Eleven. Okay, cool. So Temerity, um, as you're sitting there, uh, right after your your loop gets fixed and you have it in tune, uh, you'll get a, uh, a sending message in your head. Okay. All right, and you'll hear uh, Sal's voice, and he'll say, "Hey T, it's Sal. Just arrived in Baldur's Gate. Uh, voyage by ship is wonderful, very relaxing. Um, come visit." If you're in town, got some work. And I'll respond. Great. Traveling in the desert sucks. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe one week out. See you soon. All right. Cool. Um, And then I need the two of you to roll percentiles.
four, 14. 74. Cool. All right. Perfectly fine. Why don't you roll me a constitution saving throw? Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I have advantage on it? No, I don't uh, think so. I, just, I I just because? <laughs> I don't even know if I did. Um, <laughs> that is, uh, I am going to... I mean, he could have said yes, and then it would have been fine. No, no. Uh, I'm going to use another charge. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go with that first roll mm -hmm. okay. of a three, so that's a ten. Ah, okay. Um, so when you go out into the dunes to uh, take your morning constitutional, it burns a little bit when you pee. Oh, there no. it is. There it is. Okay. But like, just almost, almost imperceptibly. It might just be because I'm dehydrated. You might just be dehydrated. I might just be dehydrated. So the sand immediately absorbs all of your urine, so you can't really inspect can't it at all. Um, and Morg doesn't think too... You've licked the goo from your chest that's before. True. Yeah. So, well, I know what it tasted like. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, the, the wound in your chest does seem to be closing up now that it doesn't have any exposure to air. It seems to be healing around better. It's not like it's not oh. like seeping pus oh, anymore. That's good. Yeah. I'm getting better. Yep. Look at me. Grew up. Not for too long, because yeah. it'll because it's a gross and gross. Nah. Well, no, it's completely sealed. You can't get inside it of the glass. Inside yeah, of the glass. Fused. We'd have yeah. to break the glass. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, oh my I just meant that I'm a gross looking man. Oh, yeah. oh so yeah. Yeah. Well, you can just put a piece of glass over your face <laughs> and then maybe <laughs> that'll start to heal. Porcelain. Just like throw on some porcelain. Yeah. yeah. Be like the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Just perfect. Lightning it's perfect. into your face. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. This is great. This is great. We have lots of plans, so I'm happy for them. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right, cool. So you guys are making your way uh, north through the desert. Um, you guys will here, like, um, oh, that's right, there's one other thing um, before you guys get into here. Uh, about halfway through the day, uh, you guys uh, will see in the distance, uh, there is a big wooden stand. Uh, it's got like a little corrugated metal roof, um, and you will see on top of it is a large uh, sign, and it says popcorn. And it, the, the, there's a big sign on top of that, and it looks like a like a box of movie style popcorn mm. Mm. sitting on there. I I would love some popcorn. So, I think this was on the map. Yeah. It was. It was on the map. Um, so you guys uh, get up close to it, and mm. uh, generally the the majority of the caravan is just going right past it. But you could stop if you wanted for popcorn. Uh, Morgan's gonna stop for popcorn. I'm not. If the caravan, this well, guy does this all the time. I'm gonna. What, the popcorn guy? Can I ask no, someone the in the oh. caravan, like, you guys know anything about this popcorn stand? Ah, uh, yeah. Just uh, hey, popped up one day, and uh, so if you want to get popcorn, you can. Is it sketchy, or is it normal popcorn? Like, I, I don't know. As far as I've had it, it's popcorn. You know. All right. Well, it's not really a desert treat, in my opinion. You know, it's already really. kind of dry, yeah. salty in the desert. Kind of makes you thirsty. Mm. So, I don't know. It seems like a terrible business plan. Fair. But here's the popcorn guy. As that's happening, I, I just want more to be in the background talking to the guy behind the counter like, This is a great idea! Like, when you're in the desert, you need a snack. This is perfect. You know what? I was thinking the best thing about having a popcorn stand like this, okay, in the desert... It's already dried out. It can't get drier, okay? So it stays good for a really long time. You'll be eating popcorn out in the desert for weeks. Yeah. Would you like some? Yes. God, I have so much popcorn. Yeah, give me a bunch. Like, right. a, like a bag. However much a bag of popcorn would be. Mm. That much popcorn. Like, I've got, I've got small bags, and then I have large bags, and then I have really, really large bags. What's the biggest bag you got? Okay. So it'll cost you five copper, though. You know what? I'm going to actually get popcorn. Um, yeah, too. I'm like, I'm getting popcorn. <laughs> now you're thinking about it? Five, yeah. yeah I'm I definitely will. getting five popcorn. Five copper. I give him five copper. So he takes it, right? And I'll, be like, I'll be right back. You hear, like, popping. Like, somehow he's got, like, a back area. Even though this is, like, a like a four by eight little stand. And you hear, like, pop, 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 pop. And then, like, you'll see up above the sign, like, popcorn starting <laughs> to come up. And it's, like, and it's slowly pushing, like, some sort of, 
un unusual material, like up, 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 and then it kind of like tips <laughs> over. And like about the size of your body mm -hmm. is a plastic bag full of popcorn. He goes out and he ties it up and he's like, here you go. And it's like three pounds of popcorn. All right. But uh, thank you. And I start walking back yeah, with the caravan. The, I'm going to get the same thing. All right. So she had, and that's five copper. Can I get like half my purse then of popcorn? Of course you can. Still five copper though, because it's really the expense isn't in the corn, it's in the bags. But if it's a smaller bag. Nah, I don't have one that's only half size. Oh. I can fill one of the big ones halfway up. Eh, just give me a full one. Ah, right. And whoosh, whoosh, tips over. And there you go. Whoosh, giant bags of popcorn. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> then I leave. All right. Uh, I leave. You guys leave. Now you have giant bags of popcorn. No. We have giant bags of meat popcorn. Ooh. Because that's, popcorn is a vegetable. That's it's that's the, was the plan. All right, we just have jerky balls forever. Yup. <laughs> oh, they're like, they're like the Jack Link's cube jerkies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But good oh no, no, good. they come out popcorn chicken. Oh, best idea ever. Best idea. Oh, Mark is losing Perfect. his shit, and he's like, "You're not excited about this at all." <laughs> but ah. <laughs> The rest of the caravans kind of looking at the three of you like, uh, the new, the new guys. Fair enough. And, um, ah, that was it. That was the popcorn Looks guy. Looks delightful, yeah. Nice. Um, we enjoy our popcorn. the course of this day slash night, I guess identify on this magical, in air quotes, that I wrote, uh, acorn. Okay. See what it is. Sure, yeah. Uh, it is a magical acorn, which grows a magical oak tree. Whoa. Okay, but it takes it takes normal time for an oak tree to mature, which is about twenty years, uh, which will then release more magical acorns, which can grow more magical oak trees in about twenty years. Um, and the, the magical thing is uh, that you have one. Yeah, <laughs> Part of me wonders if that was the original idea, and if I'd caught Jake when he gave it to me, if it would have been different. But I don't know. Anymore. The world will never know. That's true. <sighs> well. <clears throat> That's just for me to know. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so as you guys uh, are making your way through, um, you kind of like feel like a little bit of a shift. All of a sudden, as you guys are making your way north, it's like about three miles past the popcorn guy. Mm. Um, and it's just like, it's just like you get like a slightly weird taste in your mouth. You know, you can like kind of feel mm. like your hands start like just feeling a little extra dry. Everything's just kind of feels a little unsettling, a little bit unusual. And you can kind of see that the entire caravan feels this as well. Yeah. Um, so you guys make your way, you know, through the sand dunes. Um, and you can see that at this point in the desert, it's starting to flatten out a little bit more. Not quite as much as when you ran into that uh, mm -hmm. wizard's cube, but it's it's definitely like a, a like a little more desolate even than the desert itself. Okay. You don't see much in the way of life. Um, you don't see you know there's there's no like there's not like the odd cactus or you know tree or anything. It's just completely desolate. Um, so, Pat, why don't you roll me a d20? <clears throat> 13. Cool. All right. Uh, so you guys are currently on the southernmost part of the caravan. You guys are, you know, kind of like the rear guard at mm -hmm. this point. Um, and as you're going, you will see, like, up near the front, uh, there will be, like, a, a rumbling, and there will be, like, some dust kick up. And this is probably from where you guys, because it's the caravan kind of travels in, like, a straight line. Um, you'll, you'll hear. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Just like that. <laughs> um, you'll see, like, some dust kick up, and you'll hear, like, screaming um, and the sound of combat, and you'll see... Um, like there's a, there's a, like a large, like flash of light and an explosion and probably in like 15, 20 seconds, this is like a quarter mile up from where you guys are. Um, it all stops and, um, like things start like slowing down and like the caravan starts backing up. Um, and then there's like, it seems to be like a large crowd kind of surrounding an area. 
um, that you guys can make your way up to if you so choose. <clears throat> I do. Okay. I'll wait here. So, yeah. uh, um, Eden, you make your way up and you'll see um, on the ground, uh, kind of like three quarters of the way out of the ground, is this really large insect with uh, brown, coarse hairs all over it. Um, and with like uh, with a bunch of like six or eight burnt tongues coming out of its mouth, uh, and you'll see that it has uh, two of the other caravan guards and one of the camels just ripped in half, um, and like like it was starting to consume them as the other people in the caravan were able to overtake it and destroy it. Um, and you can see. Um, why don't you make me a uh, perception check? <clears throat> Seven. Okay. Uh, you can't see anything, but you can see that the leader of the caravan is kind of like standing over there, um, and you see him like tucking something back into his uh, shirt. Um, and like, you know, he's kind of like just shaking his head, a little, little sad, a little disappointed. It's like, all right, everybody mount up, we'll keep moving. And, uh, you guys are. You guys will eventually pass this same site. Uh, you can see that, you know, whatever bags were on the camel got loaded up onto a different camel, um, and you can see that the the guards and the camel were left out in the open, just maybe as bait to be drawn towards them instead. Um, but you know, there's there's no time for a burial. There's no time for anything like that. Everybody's just got to keep moving. Morgan takes a moment of silence for the dead uh, camel. Yeah. Yeah. He seemed like a good camel. Poor little guy. <laughs> Never had a chance. <laughs> Never did. It is what it is. No. Sally forth. Sally forth. <laughs> and Sally gets moving. Good. <laughs> She's a good girl. Why no. do you make an girl. animal handling check? More than like shit today, but that's a 17. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, you can see like a slight glint in Sally's eye. Woo! Seems to not dislike your company. Well, that's... Animals generally don't. Animals generally don't. <laughs> People are a different story. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, all right, cool. Uh, so that's like around noon when that happens. Um, so Darian, why don't you roll me a d20? It's getting to be on about 2, 2.30 in the afternoon now. 14. All right, cool. Uh, all right. Um, so you guys still near the back, um, and I'm going to need everybody to make perception checks. <clears throat> Four. 20. 18. Okay. Um, so, oh, I guess Mugga also. Does it move with the kid? I don't, know. Nah. I don't want to involve him in anything. No, nah, no, we're not going to involve him in anything. Because I think we still and I feel like he's the target. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Morg yes. and uh, Edom are surprised, but you guys feel a slight rumbling uh, underneath your feet as um, two of these creatures pop up about 30 feet ahead of you in the caravan, um, and everybody can roll for initiative. Fucking damn it! Fourteen. One level, and then you'll have advantage. Yeah, but like that's like the sixth natural one I've rolled today. Right. That's What's a your lot. Uh, yeah. plus two decks? You have a uh, plus two decks also. Yes. Fifteen. What's your deck score? Fourteen. All right, so you'll be Chongo for now. <laughs> Twenty-four. Okay. Five. Wow, that's pretty bad. Twenty. Especially since you gave me all extra plus two for that oh, coffee. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that. Yeah. Did you get your plus one? You have your coffee. Do you add your plus one? All right. Look at you oh, guys. No, but I have 26. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, when I used my last charge and went with the original number, I had rolled a three, and then I threw in my uh, the extra d20, and it hit the three and turned it into a one and rolled a one. That's why I don't like dice towers, too. Because I feel like it just makes everything get messed up. Okay, yeah, like that. Cool. So, yeah, like Temerity, you are not surprised. Um, you see these things coming up out of the ground. Um, you could see that ones, they kind of came up in between two groupings of people. Mm. Uh, one seems to be facing 
north towards um, the the group in the caravan ahead of you, and then there's the other one who's kind of turned back towards you guys. Okay. Um, and none of them are immediately close then? Um, not like right up on us. Not, not like right up on you, but within 30 feet. Then okay. It's, it's imminent. Yeah. Um, and do I see any like, since we saw the tongues and heard about the tongues, do I see like any of those under the ground? Like, like snaking their way? Snaking up? Um, no, you see the thing emerge oh, okay, from so the ground I and see. you'll see that it's, um, but it's, 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 it opens its mouth, but it seems like it's all coiled up still. Okay. Like it hasn't um, unleashed its tongues yet. Okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to do then is, uh, as a bonus action, I will uh, I will draw my rapier. Okay. I will set it on fire right. as a bonus action. And then, for my action, I will... These things don't seem... Oh, when I saw the other one, and when I see this one now, does it look like it has eyes? Um, like it uses sight to... No, no, or it doesn't see... I mean, it's got some eyes, yes, but it doesn't seem like... Roll for us. It came from, from under the ground, yeah. so okay. you would think that it's able to... Maneuver without sight. Okay, then I will ready an action to cast Green Flame Blade if it gets, if it or part of it gets within striking range. range. Okay, cool. All right, um, the one that's facing the north is going to uh, open its mouth and, like, uh, you'll see, like, tongues start to, like, snake out and it's going to pounce on uh, one of the guards ahead of it. Um, of you guys, and uh, it's going to um, it's going to leap on one of the guards, and it's going to start like uh, with its with its front pincers mm -hmm. grab him, um, and then you see its head like start to like go over the guard's head and like start gnawing on him yeah. as he screams. I'm surprised by this. <laughs> you are, um, but Mucka is not. He is going to pull out his guns, uh, <laughs> um, lovingly cock them back, and then shoot twice uh, at the one that's facing towards you guys. Uh, he is going to hit twice. Uh, oh, wow. Look at him. He does good damage this time. Uh, all right. And uh, you can see that it's like... Uh, peppering choo -choo, up this thing's like face, up its snout, and you can see that it's like comes and chinks away part of its carapace on its face. Um, and then he's like, cool! And he starts moving back. <laughs> <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then that was him. And then uh, Edom, mm -hmm. you are surprised I, by this. You were not expecting it no. at all. Darian. Um, how are things laid out, and can I fireball it without hitting? Anybody? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you'd be able to fireball this guy. Okay. Um, Would it hit, are there multiple, because you, there were multiple bugs, right? Yeah, there's t just two bugs right now. Can I hit both of them with? Sure. Cool. That way I'm All will, right. will the guard who's being eaten also get hit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, should I not do that then? It's up to you. Well, you see, this thing has it in its mouth. Oh, well, yeah, he's probably dead. Anyway. You are chaotic evil. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 like, <laughs> it's it's more about our co evil? it's more about yeah. our cover. Yeah. <laughs> like if they're like you kill you blew up one of the fucking guards. Yeah. Sometimes when you're good happens, or man. neutral, you murder innocent people <laughs> found behind a tree. Wait, so <laughs> it's it's your back. with a fireball. Yeah. Didn't it's know they were there. <laughs> 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 Uh, Try to be so good in that game, and we always end up destroying things. Uh, Only accidentally. Yes, we <laughs> very rarely have done bad things on purpose. Quite. Yeah. Most of those were retconned. Twenty. Yeah, we'll have one more. Twenty-two. All right, cool. Um, both of these things <laughs> with like. Uh, Unnatural dexterity, ah, like yes. fall completely flat and like shh a little bit into the ground and are able to absorb ah. most of the heat like that, and they both 
pop back up. All right. Oh. All right. Um, and you can you can see that like there's there is some steam coming off of this thing's carapace um, as it like kind of like it, for a second it would seem like it was focused on Mucka, but now it kind of seems to have shifted its focus towards you. <clears throat> what can you do? I don't think you can do anything else. Back, back up. All right, you start move, back shimmying up. backwards. Back it up. <laughs> Back it up now, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Morg, uh, <laughs> for some reason, your, your, your sense of danger yeah, just right, didn't right. kick in. You're, you're, like, you're, like, uh, you're just not angry enough about being surprised? I guess. Not yet. Uh, not, yet. not yet. But maybe this is like the, the impetus towards you becoming real angry about being surprised. Quite. The, uh, we'll see. This is the calm before the... Impetus. Impetus, yeah, yes. thank you. Alright, uh, either which way, uh, you're surprised. And uh, right. this thing jumps right past you. Uh, uh. And it is going to uh, come within melee range of you, Temerity. So you can make your attack. Fun fact, it's advantage on initiatives and the surprise thing is level 7. But we were wrong, Rudal Critical is not till 9. Yeah, that's fair though. <laughs> that makes sense. I'd take that over Rudical. Brutal, critical. That's just something I have work. Yeah. I like, kind of get it. Yeah. Halfway there. Um, so that is going to be... Hang on, let me go back to my character sheets. 11 on the roll, plus uh, a 18. Yes, that hits. Okay. Green Flame Blade is just a D8 at this point. 2D6 for the Flame Blade. D8. And we're going to throw on... Some psychic. some psychic blades here as well, which cool. is another 3d6. That's going to be 10, 20, uh, 32, 36 points of damage. All right, cool. Um, oh, and the other one's not within five feet, right? No, no, the other one's way off that way. There it goes. Um, there it goes. So, as you, like as this thing's coming past you, uh, you reach out and stab it, and the flames like kind of like kind of you could just like feel the the brain matter inside of this thing's head just like starting to like crack apart as you send psychic waves up into it, um, and it like kind of falters for a second. Uh, but it's going to move right past you, and uh, it is going to uh, immediately jump at Sally. No! no! Oh, the impetus! <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is going to sink uh, its large front pincers into Sally, um, and then just like with its large maw, just like, and you could just, you could just smell the innards just like begin to release and like your, some of your bags get slightly damaged too. And that's not good. Um, and you just hear the, the camel death cry as, as Sally is just ripped in half and this thing just like starts munching and munching and then as it's doing that it also shimmies down so that it's only like it's it's top third is is visible above the ground and it's just like <laughs> and seems to be dragging sally it's it's the, the what, as what, the what life did, what did i do to you <laughs> as sally's life force begins to just like leave its eyes and it, it, it looks at you pleadingly as as uh, as it's it's dragged partially underground, still alive, bleeding its final few breaths. Did, did I hurt you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Temerity. All right, I'm gonna move over to this thing. All right, you move over to this thing. Uh, green flame. All right. Yeah. Cool. See you. Ooh, no, that is gonna be a charge. Aha. That's the natural twenty I was hoping for. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna do the same thing, but now that's gonna be doubled. Forty plus forty-six plus sixty-six. It's okay. More, it's okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, here we go. There's a lot of ones in there, but that's okay. 10. There's 20. Two, thirty, forty, forty nine, uh, fifty three points of damage. All and right. then eight points is gonna jump over to Sally. <laughs> uh, try to put her out of her put misery. Out of her misery. Uh, yes, yes, you're able to. Go through this thing with such force, um, your uh, rapier finds a um, a chink in its carapace. Yeah, um, blue bubbles in it. So yeah, good old Maka. Yep, Get it. right, right through its head, and then you see like uh, the fire come out of its mouth and just kind of like consume Sally. Um, and you hear the the bleeding um, cries for help. Just kind of like they they just instantly die out. Um, as Temerity, like, heroically <laughs> destroys this thing. Um, and that will be this one. Um, the other one, though, is gonna keep on munching on that road. Yeah. Um, and it is, it's, he's gonna, he's gonna, like, <clears throat> and it's gonna, you're gonna <clears throat> see, like, the, from, like, the thighs down, just, like, fall. And it's gonna like oh, its head back, and then it's going to um, reach out towards the next guard next to it, um, and it is going to just like with its pincers, just like cut the guy, um, and it's it's gonna cut one of his arms completely off, Ooh. and he's falling to the ground screaming, um, and then uh, Muck's turn, and he's gonna be like, oh shit, and he's gonna shoot. Uh, but he seems rattled, and one of his shots is gonna miss. Um, so, and you can see that the the uh, other guards up for up further up were also completely taken by surprise. Okay. Um, so it's it's just gonna hit it once, like in the, in the back of its carapace, and it's gonna like kind of like ding off, uh, seemingly mostly ineffective. Uh, and then it's Edom's turn. Fireball. <laughs> Fireball. All right. Firebolt. Fire bolt. Oh, okay. Cool. Bolt twenty-six. All right, that definitely hits. All right. For is it plus the? <clears throat> no. No. Nope. Uh, just, just the roll. Numbers. All right. So that's going to be twelve. Then. All right. Cool. Or Thirteen. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, fantastic. All right, so uh, you guys will see Edom. Just uh, how does he? How does he cast? Just uh, puts his hands together, see a little glow, and yep. shoots out. Just, just nice and subdued, and just <laughs> makes impact, and you can see that this thing uh, is clearly uh, beginning to move its attention towards you guys, uh, Darian. I want to try to mind spike it. All right, makes an intelligence saving throw. Wisdom. Wisdom. It will fail. That's okay. It was it was well and dead. Fifty eight. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, does anything else happen to it? Uh, no. Well, I mean, like I know. Her. Well, I, yeah, I know where it is. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Um. All right, and you could just see like it, like it kind of like, like its whole upper half of its body just like kind of twitches, mm -hmm. um, and it begins to turn towards you guys, and then it's Morg's turn. Uh, how far away is it from me? Uh, thirty feet. All right, I am going to uh, give a guttural cry of Tempest. Mm -hmm. uh, let the rage fill my eyes as I run towards this piece of shit and uh, hit it with my great axe. All right. Recklessly. Recklessly. So attack one uh, is going to be a 22 to hit. All right, that hits. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So it... It's gonna take some damage. Every fucking time. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's 9 plus 16 plus 2 is 18. Uh, 19. 17 plus 2. Ah, yeah, alright. And then about that. plus 3 more because other thing. So 22. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna attack again. All right. Fantastic. And that's a natural twenty. Not a little. That's me. Oh yeah, you're no, right. It was because orc. of the orc. Of his orc. Yes. Orc. Oh, so that worked out well then. Yeah. Good accidental. Uh, I throw in the um, extra die from Orcish Fury. Right. Uh, f- of course. Ten. You rolled twenty-two. I rolled uh, a one and I, a one and a two, so I, and nothing over a seven. Um, so statistically terrible. Um, so that's ten is twenty-two. Twenty-two and nine is thirty-one. All right, cool. That's not bad. Chunk no, damage. but it could have been so much better if I didn't roll like smashed ass. <laughs> So you guys see more uh, run up and with clear rage and almost hidden tears. Uh, almost <laughs> hidden. Uh, just come up and just smash this other thing twice. And you can tell that the impacts are just like almost throwing this thing off of its feet. Uh, and then it is Temerity's turn. No, oh, well, back to me. All right. Um, there's the one thing left hand. Is it within 30 feet? Ah, uh, Yes. I, I will walk over to it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try this again. All right. Third time's a charm, they say. Mm. You saw so that, though. It was on there and it went right at mm. it. Now I went back. So that's a 15? 15 misses. You could so just slides right up its armor. You saw you saw the same like the same spot, mm. but uh, you just missed it uh, as it spins towards you. Um, it, it is going to attack you twice. Okay. Um, your armor class is? 17. Okay, cool. So it is going to, uh, miss you with its pincers to grab you, uh, and as you duck out of the way, it's going to come down and hit you with a bite. Um, and you are going to feel its tongues trying to, like, snake its way, just like anywhere where there's any sort of exposed flesh, Mm. um, and it is going to hit you for, uh, 16 points of, uh, piercing damage. Um, and you can feel its tongues like starting to like. Uh, I would like to hellish rebuke. All right. Back, so I need to make a dexterity save. <coughs> All right, it will fail. It took a big old six points of fire damage. All right, cool. Um, very good. Yes, and it, it just like like absorbs up into its mouth uh, as you hellish rebuke up into it. Um, <coughs> uh, Maka will shoot it. Twice, he will successfully hit it twice, um, and as uh, he's gonna shoot it twice, and then he's gonna like the barrels are gonna be smoking a little bit. And he's gonna put them away lovingly, and then just like start to walk away, and the thing like and then like turns towards him and like takes half a step with temerity, like halfway in its mouth, and then it's just gonna. Turn full over. Um, dead. I don't stop hitting it for at least 30 seconds. All right. So you just, you guys all just see more just getting mm-hmm. grosser and grosser covered in this fleshy ichor as he, as he just turns this thing into desert mulch. And like he's getting sand mm. and grossness all over mm. himself. Um, this, this might take several press to digitations mm. to fully clear off. In the middle of all this, I'm going to walk up to him and go... (laughs) 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 Sally! (laughs) Where's Sally? (laughs) You know, I I hate to stop you, but there could be more of those coming. (sighs) Promise. And then I walk away. Alright. He's covered in absolute disgustingness. Um, could we like, out of game like idea, could we like pull a Walking Dead and like cover ourselves in its guts to disguise our smell at all? Potentially. I I I think I already did. He did. Well, that. I know. Throw it out there. Well, maybe I shouldn't clean. <laughs> maybe you should jump in yourself. Yeah. Disgustingly, but potentially effectively. Excuse me. So as you guys are there, there's this this one caravan guard, and he's writhing on the ground because he got his arm bitten off, um, and he's like, ah, and you can tell he's he's slowly starting to lose, you know, any color from his face. 
he's getting paler and paler and he's, his screams are getting quieter. And as that's going on, uh, the, the leader of the caravan's like heading over quickly. Um, and he's going to pull out from a uh, bag. And you see as he opens the bag, you see like a, a slight magical aura kind of like come out. And he'll pull a potion and be like, oh, you'll be okay. And he'll, pull, he'll pour the potion uh, down the guy's throat. And you can see that like the wound immediately starts closing up. And uh, you can see the guard, he's like coughing. And he's still coughing up a little bit of blood. Um, so we'll get you. We'll get you to the north. We'll... You did good. You did good. You'll be okay. Um, and like a couple of the other guards are like looking at you guys, just like kind of like in awe. Um, just how quickly you were able to deal with these two things. Um, and like you know, the people are coming over. They drag this guard away, um, and they seem to they they like lay him over one of the camels and kind of redistribute the weight around. Um, and you guys look over to Morg. He's just kind of like standing there <sighs> over over the body of the the first one where Sally was. Um, like all your stuff is in bags on Sally still. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you're exactly going to deal with that. I'm going to take the stuff off of Sally. All right. Fresh vegetated. <sighs> nice. It's not gross. Huh? Mm. Muck is like, here, I'll, I'll take it before you hand it out. And then he throws it on his, his uh, cycle motor. Um, <laughs> and he's like, I was thinking about changing the name to Psycho Motor. So I thought that would be mm. cool too. Uh, sorry for your loss. She was a good camel. Thank you. Oof. And so some of the other guards come over to you guys and they're like, wow, you guys, that was awesome, man. You guys are like badass, like seriously, some psychotic stuff you guys were throwing out there. Holy cow, especially you, man. And everybody's like kind of like gathering around you because you absolutely like very dramatically destroyed one of these things um, and essentially by yourself in two hits. Um, <laughs> So everybody's like kind of like gather around you like how'd you do that man like what's the what's the secret we've been we've been you know taking heavy losses from these things for years you know yeah uh don't eat any eggs or chocolate and years of practice and I'll just pull out the loot and I'll just be like but I you know it's it's tuned now so yeah. It sounds nice. It was. It's and I'll just like I'll say that, and I'll start playing, and I'll just like walk away. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's so cool, man. <laughs> That's so cool. And the uh, the caravan leader will, like kind of come up, and he's like, "No, I'm not you guys." And he sees that you're looking kind of dejected, and um, he'll he'll throw a hand on your shoulder, even though it's pretty gross. Fair. Um, and he'll say, "I uh, I understand." It's uh, painful to lose a, a companion more than more than just a uh, more than just a, a pack animal. I feel it every time any of any of my camels are killed. The guards do, but mostly the camels. Mostly the camels. Come, let us have a drink, and then we must continue on. Yeah, it's what she would have wanted. It's what she would have wanted. She was she was too much for this. Too beautiful for this world. Too beautiful indeed. It's shit, shit, fucking world. <laughs> and I fear this is only the beginning. We ought to leave this world behind. Well, we are trying to get out of this area where it's most dangerous. So let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so you guys all are. Uh, you guys all start moving again. Um, there's no How time to. How long did we sit and drink for? Just like five, ten minutes. Yep. Yep. So just, taking an even an hour yeah, at a... this. At this juncture, <laughs> no, definitely not a short rest. Um, could be quite deadly. Oh, wrong yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get first level. <laughs> and get an extra, and get my spell slot. One spell slot. Then. You see, like a like a tiny little ghost. Just probably should use a uh, <laughs> demon because it's gonna. And then he, then he oh. vaporizes oh. in the uh, in the sunlight, in the heavy Good desert spells. sunlight. Uh, what's that? Um, when we're out of the the danger zone, as they called it. Mm-hmm. Can you teach me to ride your um, psycho motor? Did you just try it out? Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. Looks well. You can try it out now if you want. No, nah, wait till we get out of the danger zone. Yeah, it's fair. I want to have people around. 
Oh shit! I forgot. I went back and watched the old episodes, and I for and I Connie. Connie. I want to keep Connie close at hand. Mm-hmm. In like the first three episodes, I named my Max Connie, and then stopped. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm bringing Barton it back. Me a D twenty. Connie's Thanks. back. Thanks. Short for coniferous. Twelve. All right. Cool. Um, so cool. as you guys are moving forward, um, you know the the pace is definitely kicked up a little bit already. <laughs> Uh, five guards have been killed, um, and three camels have been lost. So the rest of the camels are kind of a very skittish, uh, and b loaded down with a little bit more stuff mm-hmm. than they were previously. Um, but none of them seem like they're like over encumbered. You know, it's, it seems almost like uh, the caravan leader had planned for this. Um, and so as you guys are going through, uh, it's about an hour and a half later. Um, and everybody's kind of really kicking, and uh, you guys can all make perception checks at advantage. I knew that asked that time. 19. Uh, 15. 26. 19. All right, cool. Uh, you guys will all feel and hear the rumbling again, which is oh, indicative geez. of Fuck yes! what's going on. Um, and this time, though, you can kind of see most of the caravan is kind of also stopped all of a sudden, mm. and everybody starts drawing their weapons as 12 of these things all up and down the line begin to <laughs> emerge. And then you'll just barely be able to see to the east moving towards you is a massive figure a kind of shimmering in the mirage-like heat of the desert. Oh, shit. And that's where we're going to end it. Ooh. I Tonight. thought we might. Ooh. Uh, do we level up? Yes. Hey. Oh, shit! Hey. After you long rest. Ah, oh, uh, shit! That's reasonable. Just figured out ass yeah, again. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for joining us, uh, everyone. Yeah. Um, um, I hope you enjoyed this most recent installment of... Has this been three days since we got those bugs? From that other guy? Oh, nope. yeah. Uh, okay. How long has it been? Since this is the next day. Okay. So, I wasn't sure if there was a day in between there or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all uh, so much for coming out and checking out Evil Game number 25. This will be uploaded to Nerd Version Plays in the next couple of days, along with the Everin episode from last week. Nice. Um, I don't think I put that out yet, so that should be coming out soon. Tomorrow night at 8.30 um, p.m. Uh, will be Eastern Time will be Rod of Seven Parts number two, where I am a player. So that is a thing. Um, so be sure to come and check that out. Um, so that should be a good time. And then, yeah, the giveaway. Uh, I think I still have the link here. Um, the giveaway is still going on again, as I stated, till sometime. Um, oh yeah, there you go. The giveaway is going on till sometime in the middle of March. So you can still enter that. Um, yeah, we'll be back next week yep. with uh, Everin. So thank you yeah. all so much for watching. Mm-hmm. Happy Mardi Gras. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's Mardi today, Gras. Huh? Yeah. Well, that explains all those Instagram posts people were putting up. I was like, what is this about? Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Mwah! Mm-hmm.